Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Let me turn on my trusted webcam. And it doesn't turn on, of course. Naturally. Please. Scuffed stream. How about now? There we go. Here I am. Let's hide the text. Check here. Everything seems to be A-OK. -okay. Um, let me... Actually, let's listen to something else. Something like so. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to a short stream. Also a celebration stream. We are at 8,000 subscribers, which is super nice. Ooh. Okay. Before people start coming in, I'll try to do most of the work because I tend to spend a lot of time just kind of talking to the chat once uh, there's a lot of people in. <laughs> right. So today is going to be all about just fixing stuff. Oh, is turntable on? Nope. Uh, just fixing stuff that I might have forgotten last stream and also adding more geometry. So big news is that finally Rhino has a multiple inset enabled. So we will be using it like crazy. All right, but before we do that, let's go get in here and look at those edges. Those edges are ugly. Oh man. Yikes, that's, uh, that's going to be some, I'll need to spend some time fi fixing those edges. So let's immediately, uh, does it count as single surface? No, not really, no. Uh, once you export it, it is separate surfaces, but all of them are seamless. So they connect to each other without any um, discontinuities. Let's get in here and see what we can fix. Cause God damn, that's an ugly, that's an ugly edge right here. Perhaps we can just be kind of cheeky and just see this whole edge loop, just delete it like that and then just fix that part so merge that part in i wonder if that's the way to go go about it maybe not maybe it needs to merge to here well let's just see how it merges there uh if, if that doesn't work out then we will take a closer look stitch bam no 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 to here to here that's perfect. Tab. Uh, that that's a that's a doozy, right there. That that's something that we will need to fix some other way. So how do we do that? Perhaps we can merge to here. Maybe that would be the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me undo the deletion, the deletion, I don't even know. Uh, check that one out. Check this one out. Click, click, get all of these, hit delete. And now we will be merging these two points instead to get some clean, clean topology. Stitching to this point, hitting the tab button seeing that it's still a little bit messy, but actually good enough for what we want to do. So I will stick to it. We will, if we need to, we'll clean this up later on. So that's fine the way it is. And now for this one, this fella right here. Yeah, we just, just stitch it there. No need to 
Do you think about it twice? Yeah, that's good enough. That, that's an okay topology. Um, right. Where do we begin? Mm, perhaps we... Okay, let's try out the, 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 the group inset. So, before, if you tuned into previous uh, streams, you'll notice that uh, every time when I wanted to do an inset for multiple... Uh, that's a little bit too loud, maybe. Uh, let me just make it uh, just a tiny bit quieter. Just like that. That's That should be better. Okay, so before, if I used just inset, bam, and I gave it like 10, centim uh, 10 millimeters, it would inset every every face individually, and I didn't have any option to do a group inset, right? So I had this kind of problem. Um, now, that has been solved because now there is an option to do what's called a sub D inset, and it does have an option to do it as a group. So we will be trying that out if I manage to, well, let me turn off the gumball for a bit. I managed to select all of the faces here. Or not. Hello, face. Yes, yes, perfect. You and you and you. Selection is still a little bit wonky. I'd like to have uh, like stronger tools for face selection. But it is what it is. Okay. Um, and I think we need to select these faces as well, right? For, for this to work. So something like that. Bam, 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 bam. Almost there. Bam, 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 bam. And you. Okay. So these, and then we do sub D inset rather than the regular inset. Have I used a motion? No. No, I haven't. I use Unreal instead. Uh, enter to con okay. So when we use sub D inset, we have the possibility to use mode group. Super. Um, we just hit enter, and then it's gonna ask from which edge do we inset. So let's see. From this point doesn't matter. And then I'll just give it. Um, yeah, let's go for ten uh, millimeters. Something like that. And by the way, yeah, it does that <laughs> because it reroutes all of the uh, face, I not IDs, but uh, face indices. Uh, so the selection gets messed up, but that doesn't matter because we do have now a clean perimeter, a clean perimeter inset all the way through our top of the car, which means that now I can mess around with it any in any way I want, and I'll for sure be doing that. So let me select all of this, or actually no, or maybe yes. Sorry, I'm thinking, thinking, do we, yeah, let's, let's do it this way. So instead of extruding the, the top, I will be extruding this loop here downwards. So I have that selected, extrude, sub D, uh, direction is along the z-axis, and I'll just give it negative uh, 20 mil, 3 centimeters. Bam, we have a seam, right? Looks fine, uh, so, some issues there, but we will be fixing them. Other than that, looks okay. Uh, yeah, select by brush does work, but I uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not used to it. Maybe that's the problem. But I I try to force myself to use it, and it's it has been uh, hit and miss. Um, I don't know. Per perhaps if I used it more often, then 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 it would be better. But ah, kind of hate it. Um, Let's bulge this thing out. So I will just actually use a gumball for this. Gumball and just move it up. 
um, by some amount, I don't know how much. Let's see something like that. Maybe more. Can we do more? Let's set tab and see it with the tab. Yeah, that, that looks fine. That looks okay. So now we have a glass pillow here in the top. I'll be uh, kind of going back to it and then messing around with it a bit more, but uh, right now the way it looks, I, I think it's fine. Uh, I think that looks fine. This window. <sighs> okay, let's let's jump right into it. So this window right here is the bane of my existence. Um, I don't know what to do with it. So basically, if I do emap on it and let's look at it as a um, fluorescent tube maybe no that's a bad look let's look at it as a true sphere there we go this oh, stop that this area right here is not good like when i when i Especially here, you can see those those streaks. That that's not a good good thing, and that happens because of this um, because of this band right here that you don't see, but you will see really soon. There we go. Because of this band, right? That that band is messing it up. So I want to kind of visit it, revisit it, and fix it. Uh, brush select, select through objects at no real time selection set. No. Okay, let's let's see, let's see. Uh, brush select. Okay, cell brush, sure. Um, select through objects, no real time selection, no. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Uh, enter. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, control shift. Uh, okay, brush select or god damn it. Cell brush. Control shift and do do the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enter. Okay. Um yeah, I can see me using this. What's real time? Okay, uh, cell brush. Uh, real time selection, yes. Ah, that's gonna be in real time, right? Okay. Uh, cell brush. Control shift, real time select. Ah. <laughs> I need to get used to this crap. Cell brush. Enter. Real time selection, yes, please. Control shift and drag. It lags like a motherfucker. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it does, does do the trick. Don't get me wrong, but it does lag like crazy. Maybe that's because I'm recording, I don't know. Either way, uh, when I need to select a bunch of stuff, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll use it. Seems, seems like a useful tool once you get used to it. And if you have a beefy computer, uh, for me, it's a bit, hmm, I don't know. Um, let's see how we can mess around with this. So there's like double edge here. Do we even need this double edge? What does it do? It does absolutely nothing. Why do we have it here? Well, I could do this with it. So I can adjust the the angle of attack, but I don't think we need one. Delete. Breaks. Immediately breaks. Um, what are you? <laughs> what the hell are you? No, seriously, what the hell are you? Nothing here. Oh, that's because there are these need to be welded, right? Okay, let's try. Um, align uh, align vertices. Zero, zero, 001, no vertices suggested. Okay.
Yeah, yeah, that's that's the that's the thing. You can edit those those polys. Okay, let me try to or or wait. Let me see one thing. Are there points here? Here, no. This is a full-on edge. Um, if I go to sub D tools and choose vertex selection and select all of this. There's like this single point here that makes absolutely no, no sense. Delete it. And now I lost an edge, I think. Yes, now I lost an edge. Okay. We go to SubD tools, uh, reflect, um, select SubD to apply reflection this guy. Um, we will use current plane and we will just hit enter and it doesn't solve it. Why? Why don't you solve it? Okay, let me just delete that. Delete that, standard, create a curve there. We'll, we'll be just asked. Sub D loft from. Uh, or actually just from here to here, right? Uh, corners, okay. That's not joined in, but we will join it in now. Forgot to, to join it. Not sure if it did join, it didn't, that's cool. We try again, join, enter, okay. And now we reflect. Reflect, do this, enter. Snap the reflection plane automatic. Okay, we're we're back on track. Back on track. This is still a shit show, but at least now uh, we have only one edge to deal with rather than two, so that's better. Um, I don't like all of this going on, so I uh, I'm thinking of well, first of all, this guy. I will inset it. Inset? Uh, pff, not inset, bevel. I will bevel it. This edge, we just kinda. Ah, just bevel it like so. Okay, that's better. And then for this whole edge loop here, we will do exactly the same thing bevel. So I'm deleting one edge, but oh my god, what the hell is going on? Ah, yes, that's because of all of the snaps that I have enabled. Maybe I should disable the snaps. Um, object snap off. There we go, that's better. And let me just give it a little bit of an inset. Tab. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that topology is fixed. So this is basically me fixing mistakes from, from my previous tries. Whew. That glass though, I don't like it. I want to add detail to it. And we will, and we will. So I will select these faces here. Yeah, that's good. And I will just uh, sub the inset. Like that. Uh, I need now snapping to be turned on actually from this vertex inwards. And we need to decide by how much. So I kind of want these things to be somewhat sharp, I think. So shall we do, is it possible to take this edge and slide it? slide and slide it upwards yes it is so can i slide it to the midpoint like so and then take this edge come on this edge and also slide it up to no 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 direction along along okay it doesn't slide yeah that's fair enough um let's then move it instead move from here along this edge like so tab okay that's a little bit sharper that that's better okay so now 
once I have all of these little things selected, I will use sub D inset again. I'm so happy that this is finally a tool that I can use. Mode group, five mil. Uh, that did absolutely nothing. We try again. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Oh, this is going to look nice. Okay. Uh, sub D inset. Uh, enter. From, doesn't matter. From this point, let's say. Inwards by 5 millimeters again. Um, enter again. There we go. And now we should be able to extrude sub D along the Y direction. And I will just again make, make a freaking wing because I can't see what I'm doing uh, be because of the whole wireframe thing. So I just move it out quite drastically and then move it into the to the direct amount to the amount that I want. Something like that should should be fine. Right? Are you bulging out? You are. I want you to bulge out even more though. Like that. Yep. Okay. Let's check it with EMAP. Okay, what about brushed gold? Yeah, seems to be okay. Seems to be working as, as expected. Um, I think we need to give it some sharpening though. Yeah, let's give it some sharpening and sharpening is basically just giving it another sub D inset. But this time I'm going to kind of enter to continue. I'm going to give it like 10. No, 10 is too much. Uh, so seven millimeters. Tap. Nice. Okay. So we have a, a shit ton of layers going on here. Let's look at it through the clipping plane. Just investigate what we have done. And think about it. Okay, so we have that. And where's our window? There it is. And let's just look at it here. So that's the profile that we've created. We have one thing going in, out, in, and then out. And my webcam is... No, I will not be doing the interiors. Come on, webcam. Don't, don't be a dick. Come on. Come on, yes, yes, yeah, there we go. Um, I will not be doing interiors for this one. I basically want to 3D print this, this model and then hand paint it and give it away for uh, my some of my Patreon supporters. So no need for an interior. And also I'll be probably just using it in, in some of my renders later down the line. So I want it to be kind of low poly, he said, and made something like this. Um, right. So that looks okay, right? That looks fine. <clears throat> um, what's next? What's next? How is everyone doing? I'm kind of rushing through this, aren't I? Perhaps we can do something about this this front edge. Actually, yeah, I, I wanna I wanna sharpen this. I, I I don't want oh we we can actually do cell brush. I don't want it to be too blobby everywhere. Uh, real time selection yes. Control Shift. Well. kind of working uh, let's let's see if we can make it work better uh, selection filter faces and now 
cell brush real time that's a bit faster but for some reason it doesn't catch this what the hell was that <laughs> well that seems like a bug <laughs> okay uh, let me just escape out of that and <laughs> just control shift click my way through here doesn't seem to be the most stable of the of the tools okay there we go oh man I'm happy I'm happy that that tool finally finally exists we have that we will inset um, inset distance Well, yeah, 10. 10 should be fine. Oh, no, shit. We won't inset. We will sub the inset. Almost made a boo boo there. Sub the inset. G mode is group. From here inwards by 10. Messes up, but actually doesn't. And now we have a sharp edge there. Looks worse, right? Looks worse. Okay, we will not be doing that then. Yeah, that looks better actually. Okay, let, let's keep it like that. So that is fine. We don't need to overdo it. If you want to 3D print a model like this, how do you make sure it's solid? Well, right now it says it won't open sub D, so I don't know what's up with that. Let's actually investigate what's up with that. Duplicate border. There's a border right there, and why are you a border? What are you though? Oh. There's some, some kind of crap going on there. But basically, basically, I think if we kind of hit this one with uh, a line, vertices, uh, distance to adjust 0 0.1, two vertices were adjusted. So now we have that, that kind of shitty opening there that, that we saw, that, that, was, a, that was a mistake. So now I'm just making sure that it's it's a solid, and once I'm done, you you will you will understand. Oh, oops. You'll understand how I check these things. Okay, so that is a separate separated point, and I assume that is going to be also a separated point. Yes, it is. Okay, so these three points need to be stitched together because they are du uh, like duplicates of one another. They're unwelded. And I have no idea why it didn't weld, so I'll just stitch stitch them in pairs, like that. Then grab this bad boy, and this one, stitch, bam, okay. Still open sub D, oh my god. Uh, duplicate border. So this edge right here seems to be like an open edge for it. I have no idea why, and also why the hell does it just stop there? Is there a point there? No, there is no point there, so it's, it just makes a mistake. Cool. Cool. Um, let's try aligning again. 0.1 over this is adjusted okay so let's instead select all of it and say crease or or decrease uh, remove remove crease no changes made that's cool okay that means we need to actually get in here and mess around with the with this with this topology with these discontinuities so that is a problem that is a problem because everywhere else, if I take a point and I move it, 
all of the surrounding faces will move together with it, while here they don't, right? Except here, because I already fixed that, that part. Uh, that's a problem. And I assume on the other side that's going to be also a problem, right? No, it's actually fine. Or maybe it's not, maybe I'm just moving the incorrect one. Yeah, I was just moving the, the other point. So we need to fix those. And the way we do it is by just selecting both of them, typing in stitch, bam, get stitched together, this and that. Just make sure that you know to which uh, stitch, to which vertice are, are you supposed to stitch, right? Because uh, you want to keep this line horizontal. Bam, and also bam, stitch. Bam. And last one, I hope, because this is getting a little bit tedious. Bam, stitch. Okay, please be, yes, closed. So when I select it, it just says closed sub D, right? Which means I can kind of, uh, it's, it's 3D printable. Right, so so now this is solid, and why are you? Oh, that's because of the reflection plane. Never mind that. But basically, <clears throat> this right now is solid. So the only thing that I had to do was to stitch everything together here in the back, and I'm actually going to do that here by messing around with the points that. Are you a curve? What are you? Cell CRV. De delete. Okay, uh, so you and also that freaking gumball, you are a curve. No, I don't want th this to be a curve. I want to stitch these two together. Stitch up to the midpoint. That should be fine. Now this. And also that, stitch. Okay. What else is there? Can we just kind of do it in the wireframe view? I know that it's now going to be super hard to follow, but I think this is the best way to do it. Stitch. Here. Yeah, that, that actually works. Um, so what, what's left? What's left is this area right here, which is still not fixed. Let me just move it down so that you can see better. Nope, move it up. No, it's actually... This is actually stitched. But this is not... <sighs> Come on. Just, just do it. Move it out. Zoom selected. That reflection plane, though. That reflection plane is being a pain in the ass. Um, let me... Is there a way of how to remove it? Reflection. Uh, reflect. Uh, yeah. Remove existing symmetry. Okay. And now we will fix it. So the reason why it wasn't fixed was because we didn't have um, any edges here. So I'll need to make some edges there. But that is going to be super easy to do. As long as I don't mess it up. There we go. Uh, then we will bridge between here and uh, actually let, let, let's bridge the whole thing. So bridge again here 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 these three edges together with here here and here these three edges enter okay that didn't work so we will do it one by one that's fine as long as we manage to select the correct thing we can't select the just give me the there we go that edge <laughs> I'm dying here. Help. Send the help. 
um, edge selection, U, and also you, U, and also U, bridge. There we go, it's two segments, thank you. Now, no, you, and also you, bridge. Okay, and finally, you, come on, you, and you, bridge. Ooh. So I have no idea why these points are right now moved down, but that's 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 an easy fix. Uh, we just simply U and U move, enter vertical, enter from here to here. There we go. That's that's cleaned up. That should be good. So now if I select this, oh my God, that music though. If I select this shape that becomes a closed sub D shape. So that's good. We, we cleaned, up, uh, cleaned up that part as well, which, which I wanted to get to um, eventually. Right. Do we add? Yeah, let's re-add the reflection now. So reflect to this one uh, around the X axis. Pick a point on the side to keep. Yeah, this side. Oh, enter. Are you still... Uh, yeah, you're still a closed uh, sub D. That's perfect. Okay. We have it going. So that's working. That's working. All of that is working. We have a side panel. We have a front panel. Do we do anything else with the front panel, or do we just uh, will we just have it kind of glossy? I kind of want to take this this row of polygons. These are not polygons; these are sub D edges. So take this row of sub D edges and kind of move them down. Like so. Just to give it that curve, but now it's a little bit weird, so maybe I will reinstate this edge and move it up. Uh, move enter vertical enter from that vertex to that vertex. Yeah, it, it then it gets a little bit more of a of a curve there. <clears throat> I think that looks better. Okay, what do in the hell do we do with you? you? Messy, messy bastard. Okay. I really want to want to fix this. So that goes along here, along here, and this point can actually be here. <clears throat> and then it kind of merges into one spot here, which I'm not sure I like. Shit. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's think. Well, first things first, that, that edge there really needs a, a makeover. So I am going to actually yeah let's let's do it this way. So I'm just going to get rid of 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 everything that's here. Maybe. Maybe without this. Oh come on. You until here and then double click in between them and then hit delete okay so i got rid of those so this is now kind of cleaned up that's better but then i have this issue here with this edge do we just stitch them here yeah let's just for now 
hide our crimes. Just, just hide them in places where no one will look. Ooh, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe someone will notice. <laughs> maybe someone will notice if I'll do that. Um, let me delete that. How do we deal with this? So we have that sharpening there. And I just need, I just need so little for this to work. There just needs to be like an edge here, which is basically just going to be a bevel. So that's easy to, uh, to do. And with a bevel, this becomes a double edge. Okay, let's do it this way. So take notes. This edge, bevel. Um, bam, until something like this and that. Oh, okay, don't, don't take notes, don't take notes. Uh, Abort mission, <laughs> abort mission. That just breaks, breaks this geometry here completely. Ah, yikes. But what we can do, actually, what we can do is get an edge going here. Crap. <laughs> this is a this is a tricky boy. This is a tricky boy. Okay, so if we take this edge and we say insert edge and we kind of add an edge right here, right? And then we We delete that. No, we can't delete that, can't can we? We can't. Um, but we can fix this then. Okay, so this will be fixed. That that's gonna be an easy fix. So you and you get uh, sub uh, sub D lofted. Uh, corners fixed, joined. There we go. And you and you also get sub D lofted. Uh, corners fixed, joined. Why don't you remember? Why don't you remember what I wanted, want you to do? Okay, so that gets fixed. And then here, there's a little bit more that needs to be done. So I need to get rid of that. And I need to get rid of that. Then I need to take that point, move it up and see that it's actually messed up. So I can't get rid of that. But what I can do is delete the whole freaking surface. I know that it's now looking funky. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Uh, sub D loft. So everyone's done with their work week. This week was the first week of, of the semester. So I'm kind of burned out. Ah! Webcam, please, no, come back. And my webcam seems to be burned out as well. So we have that. Now the question is, can we... Can we... So here, if I give it a subdivision, then I can run a loop through here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that that's that's gonna work. So I will bridge between this and this edge. God damn it, not that. Bridge between this and this edge. It doesn't bridge. Try again. Enter. What the hell? Bridge between you and you. How hard is it to? Oh, ends need to be a single chain without branches. There's no branches. Shut up. Uh, okay, we don't bridge, we sub the loft then. And 
we get rid of the selection filter? Sub D loft between you and you. Corners. See how sub D loft is cooperative while bridge is not? Freaking bridge. Okay, so then between. Oh, but. Mm, crap. But I need, need it for that edge though. Okay, let's think about this. Let's think how to do it without actually bridging. Or maybe if I bridge, maybe it's going to be okay with bridging now. If I do it like so, and then from here, I just say until he fucker. Unselect, unselect. Why can't, he, why isn't there an option to unselect? A little bit annoying. But hey, it is what it is. We have that. Bridge. There we go. Okay. That seems to be working just fine. And then we make adjustments here. Stitch. Stitch. Did that work to see? All right. All right. So this is looking cleaner already. That's nice. And now all that we need to do is actually take this edge and move it closer to here. Like that. So that we have a sharp turn there. That's what we want. A sharp turn. And now we will we will sit here and think about what we've done. <laughs> because th there's no way that this is gonna or maybe it is. So that If we have like a, okay, so I will just draw a helper line here for me to visualize better. And I will do a sub D loft uh, from here to here, uh, corners joined, enter. Okay, cool, it doesn't, what, why? Corners creases, oh, okay, join. Okay, uh, flip it upside, uh, inside out. Okay, so we have that. And now this needs to be solved. So I know for a fact that there's gonna be like an edge here. Oh, we made an ungone. Crap, we made an ungone. But we can kind of deal with it, right? If I... No, we can't. Shit. Because here... This point... Needs to move there. Actually, I will... I will stitch. Uh, math is hard. Counting edges is hard. And we're left with a mess here. But a, a little bit better mess that, than what we had before. So I'm happy about that because he, this and this we can just stitch together and it's gonna work out. Stitch. To that point. Okay, that's better. And of course, if we now look at it, it's not gonna look good, but, but, but bear with me. Once we reintroduce an edge loop here, it's gonna work. Yeah, but one of the polygons would have been uh, N gone, a uh, 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 pentagon. And or, or, alternatively, there would be multiple faces going into a single point. Uh, and I don't want, it, want that to happen. So instead, we're going to do it a little bit differently. But that should still give us a, a pretty decent look. 
pen, something like that, and we just stitch these two together, like that. And then there is just this single point that we need to need to deal with. So it looks like it's almost the you know the the same thing as what we had before, but now this area right here is much more crisp. And that's what we live for. Um, I will bevel this just because I can. Uh, but by just a tiny amount, like five millimeters. Just give it that five millimeter bevel. Uh, crap. So that needs to be beveled as well and then eaten up by that area there, which is fine. We can do it. Okay, so this, these two will get beveled rather than one. Bevel, separate. Uh, five was a little bit too low, so let's do 10 millimeters. And now we have a, like a seam going on here and then going on here. Uh, I wanna check it out with EMAP just to see what the hell is going on. Mm, a little bit tense, but other than that, I think it's okay. Yeah, once we sharpen up this edge, it's gonna look fine. Oh shit, what the... Oh, no, never mind, that's, that's fine, that's fine. We're looking at this side. We will reflect it back to the other side later. So here it's looking fine. Okay, let's keep doing it. This, though, this edge here, my biggest foe, will be fixed, actually, now. Because we already have an end gun here, so why not? Let's just add a little bit more. You got lost here? <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. Need to add um, a bevel. A bevel. A five millimeter one. Oh, wait, why the hell are you not adding bevels there? Oh, that's because of this edge. We need to first fix this to, to be able to add bevels. Um, so I will be... Yeah, let's just do it real fast. Delete. Bridge the gap between here and here. Enter. Oh my god, again. Again doesn't bridge. Um... Uh... Okay, what if we do it this way? Here and here, bridge. Okay, without any segments. Where the hell did my car go? <laughs> okay. Here, here. Here, here. Bridge. Uh, one segment. Okay, and now here and here. Bridge. And of course it doesn't bridge, but that's fine because we have other sub-D tools that we can use. Click, click, click. This and that, and we join them up. Smooth joining. Okay, that's good. That, that, that looks fine. That looks fine. Mm. Ah, a little bit annoying music, isn't it? Let's jump back to some laid back, uh, laid back instrumental beats. Okay, that's good. Less intense. Oh, this is such a mess. Actually, this can be solved by just, uh, wait, can it? Kinda, it, it does the, a twisty twisty, which I'm not so sure about. 
need to remember this. Need to remember to fix this later. But uh, for now, let's let's do that bevel that that I was dreaming of before the stream started. Um, bevel. Oh yeah, <clears throat> five millimeters. Uh, let's do ten. Let's do a bit bigger one. That looks nice. That looks sharper as well, kinda. But now we can frame this whole thing, which which uh, I really wanted to do in a while. Ah, yes. So let's do that. Bam, 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 bam. Actually, can I? No, I can't. Bam, bam. Come on. Bam. Adding details, adding details. Um, inset. Inset distance, five millimeters. No, 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 not uh, sub D inset. Group. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Five millimeters. Enter. Click. Yeah. So it's a little bit messy there, but that's fine. That's not, not a big deal. If I hit tab, now everything is much, much sharper, which is what I want. Uh, what am I going to do with you, though? Well, technically, if I move this in like that, well, not like that, like that, then this can be treated as uh, a quad, right? It's just a twisty quad. Sure, let's let's try it, bridge. Uh, okay. So that's a quad, that's a quad, that's a quad, everything's a quad, that's not a quad, but it's gonna be. Uh, once I manage to click on it, sub D loft, or rather, let's just bridge. Okay, that's also a quad now. Okay, that's good. Slide. You should slide across on this edge just just give a little bit more room to breathe there and this this little point here it's kind of weird but i understand why it's doing it this way maybe we keep it i mean it's not the best but heck whatever okay uh we need to reflect both physically and mentally decide enter tab yeah that's that's as sharp as it gets that is as sharp as it gets yeah good now for Or the the top I am going to select all of these faces and I am going to run you guessed it inset uh, or <laughs> sub the inset on them um, enter to continue and we just do like a 10 do we do a 10 That's 10 millimeters, one centimeter. And this is a pretty big thing. Let's do uh, 20 or 15. Yeah, sure. That didn't work. So let's try again. And this time, let's actually click on the on a point and say 15 and hit enter and hit enter again. There we go. So we have that going on. And now I kind of want to just extrude 
uh, along the y direction uh, along the z direction by a lot not that much no not, not that much <laughs> that, that's uh, that's a little bit too much um by less than that definitely less than that something like this okay and then rotate this whole thing like minus five degrees even more or maybe we can make it horizontal can't we okay let's make it horizontal so that let me just select all of this and scale it down to zero along the y direction <laughs> that's not y that's z Along the Z direction, scale it down to zero, move it up, hit tab to check, looks good, looks fine, uh, get that edge, move that edge in, something like this, now get that edge, this whole edge rather, or maybe not. Um, we need to, we need to be very, very careful now, not to make any weird decisions. So first thing is moving this in, like so, maybe even more. What's happening with the topology there though? Ah, nothing too bad. That's fine. So we do this. Okay, that's good. And now this whole thing is way too too high. Those are Switzerland hearts. <laughs> Swiss heart hearts. So we have that going on. Okay, that's a little bit more. Now that's what I would call a dust collector. Um, this guy right here could move out. You, you and you just move closer. Maybe even closer like that. Almost touching. But that's fine because now we as per usual we will hit it with a bevel ah, you, you thought i'm gonna say inset no this time it's a bevel uh, bevel um and i want it pretty sharp so i'm gonna say five millimeters so we just kind of gave it a five millimeter trim there works fine um does have that that sharp edge here though which we need to fix so we need to think about it um perhaps before we do a bevel here no actually mm. yeah before we do a bevel there we need to bevel these two edges here to lock them in place <laughs> no come on rhino come on rhino there we go Come on, webcam, please, webcam, cooperate, cooperate with me. <sighs> Friday evening. I'm going to stream tomorrow as well, by the way. So you can check out um, the process <laughs> tomorrow. Um, bevel segments one, yeah, but let's say uh, like 20 centimeters, a, a pretty generous bevel. So that's with the bevel, that's without the bevel. So 20 centimeters was a bit too little. Let's, let's do, let's do 10. You and you. Bevel 
can. Okay, that's better. That is better. And now... Oh, maybe it's going to give me the edge loop. If it does, I'm gonna be happy. Click, click. That's fine, we will try again. Uh, click, click. Okay, it gave us that line. That's good. And that line. And I don't need that line, but I do need this line. I think. Maybe I don't. Uh, maybe I do. Shit, I don't know. I don't know. Let's try it this way. Bevel. Uh, segments 1, 5 mil. Enter. So we have this kind of a bevel going on here, and then it kind of... Yeah, it does do a bevel there. Okay, that's good. That's good, but it messes up here quite, quite heavily. So we can't do a bevel there. Okay, now we know. Now we know. So what about it? We will just stitch, I guess. Stitch back to... Oh wait, we can't stitch. Uh, we need to redo it, unfortunately. Uh, that's, that's fine. That is fine. Bam. Okay. Uh, bevel. And 5 was a little bit intense, so let me do like 10 rather than 5. Yeah, I think 10 is good. Sharpens up here quite quite nicely. Does the whole shebang, but creates uh, an angon on this edge, to which I say, nah. So let us, let us, let us, let us first take this edge, move it slightly back, like so, and then. And let's just insert, insert edge, ah, oh, come on, insert edge. And just snap it in there. Yeah, that's much more, uh, that's much softer. That's good. Kind of okay. What if we move this? back oh wait what's what's breaking there can't really see that well as well so that point right there is a little bit awkward and acts in a weird way so my guess is that we have two points there so let me try and yes we do so let me try and stitch those two bad boys together and see if that helps oh that helps <laughs> that helps for sure nice okay we almost have this going almost do i want to keep it smooth here maybe i do I like the smoothness of it, so I'm going to keep it smooth there. And it does, it has the thing. Um, let us mess around with it just a tiny bit more by taking that edge and moving it inwards. Like, oh shit. Okay, for this I need a clipping plane because I can't see anything um, how do we uh, let's let's try doing it this way that uh, there we go ah yes yes these two edges 
you and you move inwards like that maybe even more like that nothing breaks nothing breaks hit tab to check now that's what i call a dirt catcher right there okay good we're, we're gucci we're chilling we have some details there as well now and also we have 30 viewers that's cool that's cool mm. how's everyone i wanna i wanna take a a small little break but actually i don't want to go to the bathroom yet I tell you what, let's since we have 30 viewers, that's way too much for for my channel. Uh, I want to somehow get rid of the viewers. Uh, so I will start playing video games. Yes, you heard it. That's right. I will start playing video games. Well, something uh, just just to kind of re reinsert myself into into sub D tools and 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 sharpen up my brain again because after one hour of modeling it's it's getting dull um there's a bam there we go there's a cool website Ge geo guesser geo guesser where we can oh there we go to left that's good good I'm, I'm more used to like seeing three people watch me. Um, so Geo, Geo Guesser, and I'm just gonna go for popular maps, a diverse world. Or are there any cool ones? Now let's do di diverse world. Play. So the, the, the rule is simple. The rule is I can't move along the google earth street i can only look around and as i'm moving as i'm looking around i need to guess where the place is according to what i see from google street view simple rules use default settings single player start game go just to get 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 me pumping um and i it's only like five Five environments, five guesses. So it's a short break. Um, okay, where are we? Where's the sun? The sun is coming in almost from the north. And you know what that means? If sun is coming from the north, that means we're in the southern hemisphere. Uh, southern hemisphere and it's pretty flat so uh, i can't move i but i can look around pretty flat uh driving on the right side of the street oh crap driving on the right side of the street i wanted to guess Wanted to guess South Africa. Okay, uh, vegetation. Is that a banana tree? I think that's a banana tree, right? Looks like a banana tree. But everything else is kind of small leaf. So we are pretty deep in the south. Um. What kind of car is that? That's a Renault. And these are pretty new cars as well. Oh man, this is a... We are starting off with a pretty rough one. Any guesses in the chat? <laughs> We're starting off with a pretty rough one. Um, I really want to say... Is that horse shit? I don't know. 
I really want to say Argentina, but I might be completely wrong with this. It feels like Argentina to me. Um, because, I mean, so many countries in the south, uh, around South Africa, drive on the left-hand side of the street. Um, it's a little bit too... The leaves are a little bit too small and the weeds are all over the place. I, I assume Philippines would be, would have much, like, better vegetation. I've never been to Philippines, so I have no idea. Only been to Thailand. Um, I'm, I'm still, I'm gonna stick to my guess of Argentina, somewhere around... Uh, oh, the bike. Huh. But they do drive bikes in, in South America as well, quite quite a bit. And pickup trucks, because that's a, that's that's a pickup truck. That's also kind of a clue that um, we're a little bit closer to USA export routes. Okay, let's go for Argentina. Bam! <laughs> bam, bam. Paraguay. Okay, that's close enough. That is close enough. Um, we go again. Next round. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Um, Desert E. Um, very deserty. So those kind of roofs uh, sure feel like Australia. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, this is gonna be a tricky one. Like those, those kind of a. Uh... Ooh, Mexico. That's a good guess. That's actually pretty. Yeah, yeah. Because I assume Australia is a little bit more flat than that. In most most cases, of course, there are exceptions. But Mexico is uh, like central. Uh, cent Central uh, America is a good, good guess. Because we also have... But wait, the, the roofs though... Oh, but wait, shit. Okay, we do have some flat roofs. Because when I think Mexico, I always think flat roofs, right? Because in Mexico, you don't... Uh, there's, there's not a lot of uh, rainfall and no snow buildup, so you don't need any... Can I put on some lo-fi? Sure thing, man. Sure thing. Uh, maybe. Um. Oh, come on. Is that lo-fi? Yeah, that's close enough to being lo-fi. Um. Yeah, let's let's not 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 waste too much time. Uh, I agree. Feels like Mexico, even though the mountains are a little bit. But feels like Mexico. Um, let's find a place where which is more mountainous. This seems a little bit more mountainous, right? Uh, Yolo, guess. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> that's that's a that's a doozy. That's a doozy right there. Um, still got two points though, so that's cool. <laughs> South Africa. Wait, didn't we? We didn't check on which side of the road we were driving, right? Or wait, was it the dirt road? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Go again. Three uh, three more to go. Oh my God! It's uh, come on. Come on, you're you're killing me with these locations. Uh, south is straight from the east. Okay, so that's not gonna help. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, sign, sign. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. 
I don't know which language that is. Unfortunately, but that, that seems like uh, either Portuguese or Spanish. One of those. Um, and also we are really like this is nothing, like completely nothing. Jesus. <laughs> Any guesses in the chat? <laughs> Any guesses in the chat? Oh my god, you're in come on, you're you're killing me with this. This can be any anywhere. Uh okay, it, it is. So Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Brazil. All of that is lush. So there's a lot of um a lot of greenery there. I don't think we would see anything like this. Uh, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Honduras, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Mexico. That's a big possibility. Um, here, we wouldn't see any Spanish words. Um, I'll, I'll answer the Rutopo question in just a second. Bolivia could be Bolivia. I mean, honestly, could be anywhere. Well, probably not here, not here. So we are guessing. Oops, we are guessing here. Central America again, and uh, that's the place where I haven't been to. Or Bolivia. Bolivia, Paraguay, Chile. How's Bolivia looking? Um, so we have the Andes in Bolivia, right? That that kind of help out with with, for, with to the vegetation, holding in the, the 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 moisture from Brazil. So Bolivia is a little bit more green than Peru. Than, than this part, but this part is close to water, so that can't be it. Or maybe I'm overthinking it. YOLO, Nicaragua, I don't know. Oh, we need to wait now. Um, why do I spend so much time on Ritopo? So I spend so much time on Ritopo because I want the... Uh, I want it to be the model to be as clean as it possibly can be just so that I know that um, I know how to troubleshoot things for later down the line for professional applications once I'm going to actually be uh, building up a model for a client that model is going to be super clean for the client right so I'm, it's just practice um, Oh crap! Okay, so I, I was thinking between Peru, like be between this this uh, west coast uh, of South America, but Bolivia would have been a better better guess than than my central Nicaragua guess. So it was Chile, and apparently, it being right close to the sea doesn't matter at all. It's just a desert. Okay. Good to know. But the theory about the Andes, I think, still stands, right? Uh, that they hold in the moisture from, uh, from the forests of, of Brazil, Venezuela, and Colombia. Um, next round. We're being, like, just screwed over. What's up with the... With the South South America. <laughs> um, okay, bananas, 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 and what else? A pitched roof. Uh, quite mountainous, actually. Quite mountainous. That's nice. 
and more bananas. So there's a lot of bananas and it's a bunch of pitched roofs. The electricity feels like, like the electricity installation feels like South America, I would say. Like the, in, in Europe, we have uh, less lines. Or Asia, but yeah, that's, uh, but, uh, architecture is not Asian, so, so that can't be, and the sign is not Asian, so that also can't be. Um, what the hell is that? <laughs> that's a tall boy. Okay, so we are at the... Uh, at one of the mountains damn like the my, my initial <laughs> Colombia <laughs> well could be my initial thought was actually um, Tenerife um, uh, or Gran Canaria but this is way too way too big for for, for these islands So, maybe, maybe, I don't know, I, I can't read, por come on, I, I can't read Portuguese or Spanish, so I'm kind of in a... <laughs> Banana Republic because of all of the bananas, huh? Um, Alta, so, okay, um... Alta is high, tensile is like tension, like electricity tension, so high current. Um, high current for, for this, yeah, makes sense. Alta. Okay, that's Portuguese. Okay, that, uh, okay. I shouldn't get any notes from the chat, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna freaking cheat. Portuguese. What other countries in South America are Portuguese? Colombia, just do, do a safe bet. <laughs> no, that's that's fine. That's fine. Let's go for let's go for Brazilian Shepherd for this game by completely missing the spot and just saying Brazil mountainous area of Brazil. I have no idea where there are small uh, like islands and and whatnot which also speak Portuguese. Um, it doesn't matter. We were picking Brazil. We're picking Brazil and we are picking something that's not too close here. Somewhere here. Okay. Ah, crap. Which part of Brazil is mountainous to Brazil? Let's YOLO. Rio de Janeiro, of course, is mountainous. God damn it. Uh, yeah, okay, so the height of the sign, no, not the sign, but the height of the uh, the tower was kind of a giveaway that it's close to some some large city. But really, yeah, every time when we look at Rio, those mountains surrounding it, so that's cool to know. That's cool to know. And we kind of, you know, we nailed it. Almost nailed it with, with Brazil. That's nice. Um, last round. Oh my god. One of those, huh? I can't catch a break with these. <laughs> I just can't catch a break. <laughs> it's just... Uh, seems like... Whoa. Okay, so so the drive is on the right hand side or not? Oh my god! Um, 
So if if the tracks are going this way, right? And there is here. From here to here. Which means that it's it's I drive. What about it? The sun doesn't help us at all. What about the vegetation? It's just it's quite dirty. It's quite dirty. And also there are these kind of double lines here, the, the yellow ones. One by the way, I, pr I promise. Uh, <laughs> we will continue on with modeling after this. Of like a community of people. And kind of reddish dirt. Um, let's think. Um, any any guesses in the chat? Mm. I'm just thinking. Like, I want to guess Australia. I really want to guess Australia. But Australia had vehicles, like vehicles with the, 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 the steering wheel as if they are driving on the right-hand side, but the drive on the streets is left-hand side. Right? Australia, New Zealand, I think. I think so. Um, so I can't guess Australia. Do we go for USA? Because that double yellow line kind of screams USA. Damn, this is, uh, this, this is killing me. I'll go for Arizona. Like the road is not that well maintained uh, for for USA, so I don't really want to go for, or maybe Nevada somewhere around here. Navajo Nation. Uh, okay, let's last last check before we kind of give in. Uh huh. Water storage thingy. Quite, quite nothing here. And there is trash on the side of the road, which which doesn't make any sense for USA. I, that is a pickup truck. That is a pickup truck. And you know what they say when you see a pickup truck, you guess Texas. Oh boy. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Brazil. Honestly. Like Brazil. I, I think we had like three Brazils did this run. Okay, let's view the summary. I'm just so shit at this game. I'm gonna practice it every stream. At least one, once per stream, we are going to play this game. Um, okay, so... Brazil here... That was a good guess. The first guess was okay, so we didn't get anything from, from freaking uh, Europe. That sucks. I, I could have guessed so many things from Europe, but now, sure, South America, huh? So Brazil, god, god damn it, has a freak, the freaking forests, has the freaking, oh, has the freaking mountains, and has the freaking desert. Like, at this point, we can just guess I guess every time we can just guess Brazil because it has it all, right? But we need to remember this. Brazil also has the double yellow line. And uh, next time when we see trash on the side of the street, 
we will think uh, we, we won't give in and we won't guess United States and pickup trucks doesn't immediately equal Texas that's what we learned <laughs> god damn it I'm so bad at this game Mexico South Africa wait 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 a minute but in this guess didn't we determine that the 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 oh yeah we didn't so we we couldn't see which direction like is is it a left hand side drive or right hand side drive so that that's why okay enough of that back to the car back to the car it was a fun fun little break actually i went uh, i went a bit more of a break let me jump and uh, get get some coffee going um and i will be back in uh, literally two minutes so don't go anywhere and we will continue on the the modeling yeah i keep um i keep looking at the sun i, I kept looking at the sun but the problem was that uh four out of five guesses um uh, the sun was in the east like directly in the east and then, you know, once it's there, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if I see the sun in the south or in the north, I immediately kind of cut away half of the world and know where to look. Anyway, uh, three minute break. Let me close off my, my webcam so that you don't see me awkwardly walking around the room. Um, and we will wait. Probably should kind of re rename this. Uh, coffee. Oh, that's a shitty way of writing it. Coffee. Uh, three men. There we go. Uh, that and 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 I'm gonna close my camera for a bit. And also, I am going to revolve this bad boy around. Not revolve, uh, revolve, no, 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 uh, turntable. For three years I kept saying turnable <laughs> because I didn't read the word and I thought that it says tur turnable. Uh, so that was awkward. Is that a good angle? Oh, that's not a good angle. Is that a better angle? Yeah, that seems good. Okay. Uh, be right back. Three minutes. Just a second.
Jo. Okej. Okay. Okay, uh, that and where is my uh, cannon? And it doesn't work as per usual. Come on, please cooperate with me. Just just be normal for for once. Just work, please. There we go. Okay. So we have that, that. Uh, back at it. What do we do next? What do we do next with this bad boy? I'm thinking of either adding some sort of landing gear as right now uh, it wouldn't be a graceful landing, so to say, for, for this car. Or, just kind of going around and adding details. What do I think about Houdini's poly reduce for game ready assets? Um, any kind of poly reduce, which is not manual, is going to give you errors. Uh, Houdini's poly reduce is quite good, uh, really, a, a really strong one. Um, but even with uh, these days with with Rhino, uh, if you have, you know, some sort of a, um, let me just quickly do 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 some 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 bullshit on 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 this geometry, uh, Boolean difference, bam bam bam. Uh, mesh it with a crap ton of polygons okay so even here uh, you know th th this is bad of course but if we were to uh, go into mesh tools and do quad remesh and we were to say that our target edge count is let's say uh, 200 polys right which is super 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 low it might break brick it um adaptive quad count yeah yeah that's good preview let's turn on the preview and just see it ah, seems like it's gonna do the trick hit okay um and just move out the reduced one um even the quad remesh in in rhino is is doing quite a quite a good good job at remeshing the geometry to a pretty pretty good state um so there's no like neither one of these tools is going to be perfect but now all of the tools that are there for for reduction of polygon count are good good enough so to say um unless you're going to be doing some sort of a Instead of uh, game assets, uh, you're going to do some FEA analysis uh, or FE analysis. Then it's uh, you'll need to put in some some manual work in there to get the topology correct. Um, yeah, that that's my thoughts on it. Okay. Do we do the the front though, or do we just keep sharpening up? stuff because i still want to sharpen up the roof right now it's a little bit blobby also that that edge right there is a little bit messy yeah i kind of want to sharpen it now or maybe we can just kind of bevel this um a tiny bit just a little bit just just <laughs> oh my god you are being obnoxious um, you sir need to move back to here so that I can be oh but now it's messing up Ich. Oof. Ich, oof, ich, oof. Um. 
thinking, 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 thinking. Or do we just ignore it for now and hope it goes away? Maybe we ignore it and hope it goes away later later on. It won't, but maybe it will. It won't. Or I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, insert edge, ping, right here. Oh, why do you insert so many? No, 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 just you. Insert edge, right here, right, right here. Yeah, that's good. And and now we should be able to somehow solve this. <laughs> somehow. Somehow, somehow, somehow. Um, yeah, I think it's as easy as just getting rid of these. Um, bridge. Bridging between these two. And it's not going to bridge, of course. Uh, sub D loft. You and you get lofted together, corners, creases, join, perfect. And then you, oh, you and you also need to get lofted together or sub -de lofted together. I need to start adding in, okay, uh, flip. That's great that looks fine we for some reason reflection messed up so we need to re re reflect around the x-axis this automatic okay did it fix the problem yes it did now it's clean look how clean it is except here now here it's messed up but that's fine because here we will just casually stitch it Casually stitch it. Gumball is in the way. There we go. Stitch. Bam. Um, bam, bam, bam. Tab. Yeah, not not the most elegant one, but at least the the, the curvature here is is okay. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. Nice. Let's move on. don't like the back I think the back could be moved in a gumball or rather moved down or maybe even better scaled down to zero so that it's flat and then moved down like so even lower like that Yeah, that's better. That is better. That's that's a nicer, nicer angle. <clears throat> uh, that uh, this is sharp enough for for my taste, or is it? Or is it? Maybe it's not. Let's let's do some some magic let's work some magic on these edges and i'm working on the not the correct side we need to work on this side there and there and we bevel the bad boy and we give it a 20 millimeter bevel oh that's too much so we don't give it a 20 millimeter bevel rather we give it a 10 millimeter bevel yeah that's much sharper that's nice that's what i want to see it's good uh this can be the way it is that's okay the front though the front though yeah, we, we will bevel the front as well. So getting in there, we need to get in there closer. 
Come on, you. There we go. And you. And attack it with a bevel. Give it a 10. Ooh. Okay, that, that is much more defined. That's much nicer. Really like that. How that edge turned out. That's good. Um, I won't do anything with the inside. I think that's that's good enough. Most of it will be covered by the texture and also some some pipes later down the line. That's okay. Um, let's work on either the front or the landing gear. Let's wor uh, start working on the landing gear. I think. I think that's going to kind of give it a little bit more bizarre. So. I will I will take this polygon and this polygon and I will sub the inset inset them inwards uh, as a group from this point inwards by 20 enter yep it's good that is done um and I will Probably just take this edge right here and move it in, right? Or do we... Sorry, now I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Am I creating more polygons than I need to? Yes, I am. Okay, so we don't insert it just yet. Instead, we move these two edges a little bit in by, let's say, yeah, 300 mil should do the trick, or maybe 400, 400 millimeters, like that. Okay, that, that's a good enough wave. And then we sub the inset. These ones. From here inwards, 20, click. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Which means that now I can select this whole edge loop and extrude, uh, sub D, extrude it along the Z direction. That's perfect. We just extrude it up uh, by, uh, let's go for 50 millimeters so five centimeters we have something like that a little a little anus for our car uh, car model so we have that and now let's mess around with these get them out uh flatten it out to zero like that so we have something like this and now let's think about it so this will need to be at an angle right i think so we'll need to yeah this will need to be at an angle but before we do that i will attack this this uh, this edge right here or maybe later. No, later. We will sharpen up everything later. For now, we are just kind of messing around with, 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 with the shape, with the form. So, what I want... What do I want this to be? How do I want this to work? Main question, does the car stand on wheels or does it stand on some sort of a sled system? Maybe wheels. Yeah, I'm thinking wheels. Let, let's do wheels. So to hold the wheel, this will, well, first of all, <clears throat> this needs to be moved in right ah. <laughs> okay I have an idea 
have an idea. We need to undo a few few times, but that's that's not a problem. Um, and we do this, we again extrude sub D, but this time we extrude it downwards like that. We grab the bottom edge of, of the extrusion and we flatten this bad boy out like that. So that's like a now a flat insert that will go in like that. So that works, that that actually works. And that, that means we can now take this, move it down, flatten it out to zero, like this, that's perfect. And now we have the possibility to move this without messing up the top. So we will move move this inwards like that I think that looks fine doesn't look that great there but that's okay um, something that 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 we will fix okay so we have that. Uh, now I want to make this much more thin, like that. I want to grab this edge and move it in, like that. And perhaps not just that edge, but rather this overall surface needs to be scaled down and moved here like so okay we have this thing going on maybe even more we have something like that and then the question is the biggest question is how do we attach a wheel to this thing so I'm thinking of branching out this geometry and then wheel is in, in, in between. And we will fix the proportion, don't worry. The, the proportion is going to be fine. Uh, don't worry about that. Do we do a, a wheel first? Maybe we do a wheel first. So let me grab another uh, sub D tools. Let me grab a box or sub D cylinder. Maybe a sub D cylinder will do the trick. It's closer to a wheel as well. Um, we don't really care about the size of it. That's how it looks. That's too many divisions there, though. So let's let's do it again. Uh, sub D cylinder uh, around faces eight. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, vertical faces four. Uh, I'll just do one for now. I think no. I will do three. What does that look like? Looks like a wheel. Okay, that's good. Uh, rotate. Move it in. Uh, nope. Don't move it in. First, snap to the correct uh, move. Snap to the correct position. So from here, snap to here. So now it's on the axis. That's good. And we kind of move it in. Uh, so that it fits. I'm thinking of having a wheel just kind of kind of here, right? That's gonna be okay. Oh, come on, webcam. Keep doing this to me. Ah, this is gonna be a tricky one. Tricky one to do. The wheel is too small as well. And the hole is too small as well. So do we first need to do a wheel and then mess around with all of this? Probably, right? Okay. So let me move the wheel down a bit and actually scale it up. 
so that it's it's a decent mm, maybe that's a bit too big yeah that's it looks about right um right so this needs to incorporate the wheel better and the way I'm going to do this is by actually looking at the back elevation and moving the wheel in the correct position where I want it. So somewhere here, I think. Oh, actually here we, we don't even need the finger magic. <laughs> we can just have a wheel kind of sticking out like so. And what's the clearance on that? Well, it's not going to be a driving on the road type of a vehicle, but still. That's pretty low, but I think that's fine. Okay, so the wheel is going to be there, which means... I'll hide it. Uh, which means we don't need this whole crap. So let me... Let me actually delete it. Delete that. Delete those edges. Come on, delete that polygon. Delete that polygon as well. Okay. Poof. So I will open up this for, for just a tiny bit so that we can see the wheel in its whole glory. Show. And we can see how much we need to kind of carve out for it to fit. That's a lot. That's that's a lot of carving. Is the position right? Yeah, the position seems okay. Okay. So let's do the carving first. Um, how? Maybe we just kind of cut away this whole bit and rebuild it from scratch. I think that's the way to go about it. Yeah. Okay, so let me just select these polygons here. And destroy everything that I've done so far. Delete. Okay, good. Let me show. Yeah, that, that, that looks much, much better. Okay. Um, and now we take this point, we move it in. We can't move it in. It doesn't let us. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's okay. How will we fix this though? Okay, I have a I have a plan. I have a plan. So we we need to bridge between here and okay, bridge or rather select select. God damn it! Select select bridge two segments, please. Okay. Um. Move these points until they... Or rather, let, let's just do it this way. That and that. Ah, oh, damn it, please. Just, just work. That and that. Stitch. Up to there. There we go. And now this just moves back into place where it was before. Uh, and it snaps, right? Right. That's good enough. Um, and now we want this uh, this polygon. Mm, we want an offset, an inset, not an offset. We want an off uh, inset of these four polygons. Actually, we probably want this to be moved somewhere here. Okay. 
because otherwise we're gonna have a very convoluted area there. Um, inset, no, um, subd, inset, uh, group mode, uh, from this point, let's go for like 10 millimeters. So we have that. That's good. And this time I am just going to take this and extrude sub D, extrude it along the Z direction. And let me just extrude it for now, like so. Hit it with the almighty flatten and see that, oh, it's actually a uh, a pretty deep, it's gonna be a pretty deep hole if I do it, so I will not hit it with the inset, but rather I'm just going to move it in. Just like that. And now, we are going to do some funky thing. Ah, sub -D tools, uh, reflect remove existing symmetry, <clears throat> go to top view, control shift, select half of the car, hit delete, delete, delete. Okay. Now we're going to be working on half of the car and then we're going to mirror it back because that's going to be much more convenient for me because of the wheel. Right, right. So, this edge needs to move in quite drastically and move up. Actually, this whole thing needs to move up. Um, so let's not move in that edge just yet. First, let's move it, move them up, and I can't because the wheel is in the way. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Maybe I can just lock and do it this way. There we go. So that looks like this. That's better. Now this edge right here doesn't need to be that high, so I can move this down. That does that, that's good. This, these two can move down even further. Like that, that's perfect. Um, this needs a chamfer actually. I will chamfer it. Um, no, not champ, bevel. I will bevel it. You, get beveled. Like that, yes, good. And now we, we have the possibility to take this edge and move it out. Just like so. And also hit the tab. That is much better but not still still not great so i'll be moving this down all the way here all the way to here like that and this will be here okay looks about right yeah cool now I need to make a pokey hole here in this wheel and connect it to the rest of the car. Um, and it's not going to be like a fancy, you know, suspension system style of connection. It's, it's just going to be literally a pipe. Maybe with some additional stuff, but we'll see. Um, so how do we do that? How do we do that? Well, for now, let's work on the wheel then. Unlock. Hide that. 
you, sir, need to be fixed. Uh, default layer. Question, can I bevel you? Bevel. No, I can't. Of course I can't. So then the next question is, can I use uh, group inset on you? Uh, sub D inset, enter to continue, yes, uh, from this point, yes, I can. Okay, so that's good. That's good, and uh, let's see the pipe is going to be something like this, right? I think that's fine. Yep, way ahead of you. <laughs> ahead of you. Um, so we have that. That's cool. We just take all of these and we will... Mm, I kind of want to detail the wheel a bit, right? Yeah, I do. I, I do want to detail the wheel. But maybe we'll do that later. Um, so let's just extrude sub D along the y direction and show let's just hope that show will work show will not work so we need to first show and then pow, 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 pow. you get extruded no problem that's it's my pleasure it's actually my pleasure to to do this kind of stuff sub d extrude or extrude sub d right i just want to show people that it's you know it's fun it's just fun to sometimes lay back relax and just work on a freaking car once in a while oh that's a <laughs> we will i'll fix that i will fix that don't don't worry <laughs> I will fix that. Um, isolate that wheel. Let's continue working on it. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Um, sub D insert inset group mode from this point. <clears throat> Probably something like this, or maybe closer to this, like that. And it's gonna go in. And then it's going to do the thing here and go out again. So I need one more, one more inset while, while I still have these selected, like, like so. <clears throat> That's good. Let's gra grab this and uh, let's scale it down. Maybe closer. <clears throat> like that. Okay, that's a bit better. <clears throat> what's what's up with my with my voice? Oh, Dev is asking, do you know when I import Rhino Revit? Rhino into Revit and retexture my UV is completely messed up. How to fix for a whole model? Uh, no fix, no fix for, for the whole model. It's all manual re, re UVing. I don't know, my mind doesn't get that messed up. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, Right. Oh. oh my god, battery is killing me. I should probably change the battery of, of the camera. Or maybe nah. We will we will finish up with, with this with this session in a bit. So oh my god, the, the camera is just crazy. Um right, you um extrude or 
or rather, or rather, do we extrude? Yeah, we, we do extrude this. Pop up, pop up. Extrude sub D inwards by uh, one third, let's say, like that. Okay, that's a wheel, nothing special. So, are you talking about rotating textures in Revit? If, if you are, then I'm not going to be any use to you. Uh, I'm not... Uh, I never render in Revit, so I have no idea. Sorry. Um, this, though, needs to be... Extrude that no this this will need to be no this does need to be extruded extrude sub the inwards like that as well okay so we have something like this going on which is uh, I, I dig it I, I think it's fine uh, we will hit it with a few uh, bevels uh, just five millimeter bevel just a small one here we sharpen it up. Um, this and this edge will probably get a, yeah, also it will get a bevel. Um, I'm trying not to do any creases, so that's only a two millimeter bevel. What's happening inside, I don't care about, about that, that part. Um, we will get rid of uh, this whole face. I accidentally pressed F1 and now it's opening up the help file for me. No. Um, bam, 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 bam. Delete. Just to get a nice cylinder going. Okay, that's that's good. It's okay. And we probably will need to reflect it, right? To the other side. So for now, what we can do, or actually let's let's reflect, reflect on the x-axis, uh, pick a point on uh, the side to keep. So U, uh, automatic. That's that's a nice reflection. Why? Why is there no seam? Can I reflect again and remove? Okay, so the seam is messing up. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's do it this way then. Move. Uh, I, I need a seam there, so I'm going to move this edge until the midpoint. And then reflect. Uh, oh, come on. Bam. X-axis, the side keep. Automatic. Okay. And now remove the symmetry for a bit. Uh, because I don't really need it, but just I just needed it for just a second. Okay, we have half a wheel, and we have our cylinder, and uh, it's it's doing its thing. It's doing its best. Uh, don't hate on the wheel. Why did I make an additional loop there? What was that for? For sharpening probably yeah that was for to eat up the sharpen okay so we will hit it with a double bevel here to sharpen everything up bevel um just a five millimeter bevel you know that that that's a that's half of a wheel nothing fancy but it's gonna do the job Okay, now the tricky bit. Connecting the wheel to the rest of the car. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so it's going to be this polygon. Um, let me do this. Duplicate border. Uh, and select that, delete, hide the wheel. So now I know where I need to, oh, where I need to make an octagon 
right? Uh, but that's not enough. Show. Yeah, because I need I need this precise octagon. So how do we? Is there like a extract control polygon? That's great. Or wait, extract control polygon. Sub D hide this duplicate border so that we get a polyline rather than a smooth curve. And now I know precisely where I need my edges to go. And that's gonna be a lot of edges. Okay. So how do we tackle this? Well, the first thing is We need to get some breathing room in here, so I will do sub D inset. We definitely need uh, some breathing room, and I'll just give it like uh, from this point. I'll just give it a manual inset without any values, something like that. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's five. Uh, that is not enough. So when something is not enough, we tend to start extruding things, right? Right. Because if I extrude now, inwards by not a lot like 20 20 millimeters then i can choose which edges to bevel for instance this and this and if i bevel those two edges then i will have one two three four five six seven shit i need one more um okay so plan b let's think how will we connect all of this? So the bottom will connect to here, to this edge. This will connect to this bevel. Bevel. Yeah. And it's gonna be a pretty bad connection. Do we need to move this down? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of contemplating on, on moving this, this, uh, this edge right here down. Let's see if that's, uh, how that's, how that would look like in, oh, in, in, in our car, uh, in our design. Oh, and I've stopped reading chat. Wait, wait, chat. I'll catch up if, if you said anything. <laughs> in Rhino, rotate in the other way in Rhino, so when it loads into Revit, it can maybe... Um, oh, okay. Uh, in, in Rhino, so yeah, like Arthur said, you could experiment with uh, wait, uh, wait, 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 let me mess around here a bit and then I'll answer. Can't do two things at the same time, so that's a bit better. So maybe we do this, or maybe we, oh, I know. This might be pretty cool if we do it this way. So uh, I'll answer you in just a second, but before I want to uh, take this extrude sub D along the Y uh, Z direction, and I want to extrude it down by uh, some amount. Doesn't matter what amount. Something like this, and move it up. And then stitch these two together. Stitch, uh, 
stitch you here oh my god this is turning out to be quite a long process but we will add the freaking back wheel there and then call it a day because i'm getting tired uh and then stitch that there and you and you also get stitched uh-huh this point could move a little bit more diagonally or like so um so what we did was we made it so that we can now move this edge together with this point downwards oh crap it hits the the floor right there okay so that doesn't work we need to move this down like that yeah that's a fine lip and now we move these two down I don't think it's gonna hit at least it doesn't seem like it's gonna hit and we will move this edge somewhere here while also moving this edge downwards like so so our polygon is gonna be funky but it's going to work at least um and nothing seems to be intersecting so that that works okay um multiple uv fixes at once with rhino i don't know i don't know i don't know i always do it one by one with box mapping in terms of architecture i just always use box mapping and um, i am actually going to once i have done the the, the geometry for this i'm going to make um uh, 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 not tutorial but a live stream of me just texturing the the shit out of this car uh, so that might be pretty cool uh, to watch so wait for that maybe you'll get some tips then uh, about it bevel well that edge uh, pretty heavy bevel there I think yeah, we need a pretty heavy bevel. Um, so, okay. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. This connects to here. Top connects to here. This side will need to connect bevel to, to here. Then this connects to here and this connects to there. Easy. It's like I know what I'm doing, but trust me, I don't. Okay, now moment of truth. We explode this and then we start to stitch everything together. Or in this case, sub D loft uh, between here and, and here. Corners, creases, join bam then between here and here corners creases join between here and here corners creases join here and here as i'm doing this i understand that i could have just bridged <laughs> but now i can't because i'm already doing it so whatever come on you you corners creases join you and you corners creases join and my camera keeps freaking dying oh i know i have an idea just a second 
this is gonna be a little bit awkward but uh, but this should work new camera now it should be fine now it should be a-okay so we effectively just joined everything up almost everything up i will add a few more things here but everything seems to be gucci sell crv enters sell crv enter delete uh let's show that's where our wheel goes in and it's gonna connect nicely i hope seems like it is seems like everything here is gonna connect quite well um whoopee that edge though that edge though why are you doing this edge do you need a bevel you probably need a bevel don't you or do i just move you in maybe i just move you in right no one will see this but i'll just still do it bevel um just give it a little bit of a little bit of a bevel and then give it a little bit of a of a move uh down to the side It made it worse, but maybe I don't care. Yeah, that's good enough. Don't tell anyone. Just don't tell anyone and we will be fine. Okay. Wheel is fine. I just want to do a few things here with, with, the, with the shape. Uh, so I want to select these uh, faces. And I want to hit them with uh, sub D inset. Group mode from here outwards, just like that. That's perfect. And if it connects like so, and maybe that's that's good enough. Let's look at it. So it has a ridge there, that's fine, there's, there's a little ridge there, that's fine, everything else is smooth. Um, and we don't really need to do anything else with it. So I think that's okay. And we can even mess around with this to kind of make it a little bit nicer. Or, or perhaps we don't. Perhaps we don't. We just keep it. We just keep it as it is. Okay, time to add the wheel. Where the hell? Did I delete my wheel? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I deleted my wheel. Uh, hide the wheel and repeat the sub D command, uh, sub D inset. Insert command, Jesus Christ. Uh, this is when I know that I'm getting tired. Is when I just casually delete the wheel. Um, so I have that going on. And uh, yeah, show. This and that gets joined up. Perfect. This ridge right here needs a little bit more attention. Um, so I don't mind that. I think that that that's that's a nice design thing. Maybe it could even bulge out a bit more. Something like this. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> and get beveled. 
to a tiny area there. Yep, that that looks good. And this can actually can it get chamfered? Of course it can. Or beveled. Ah, I keep saying chamfered. Or maybe it can't. We'll see. Uh, bevel. Uh, you are breaking it, right? Yeah, you're breaking there. So I can't bevel there. That's okay. That's okay. I'll just take that point and, and move it instead. Like that. To get a smoother connection there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we have this going on. Um, oh, that's that's pretty ugly. I, I I really hate it when when things don't connect properly in the in the sub D, uh, not sub D in the unsubdivided version. So I'm just going to in the visit this revisit this and uh, give it a few a few tugs here and there to to make it nice nicer rather ah oh, that that was a bad decision yeah that's that's better okay so we have that uh, what else what else what else what else i need a sharp a really sharp edge here so I'm going to grab it like that and this edge as well probably yes so this whole edge receives a bevel that is going to be like two millimeters bevel two there we go now we have a very sharp ending there which I want. Um, right. And I think uh, hope it's good bound. Trying my best here. Um, I think what we will do is we will take this edge loop here and we will move it to the midpoint, not the midpoint, what's, what's the, okay, distance from here to here, oh, that's a, that's a very ugly distance, okay, so instead let's just draw a line, grab that edge, move from here, you midpoint perfect okay time to reflect reflect x axis bam automatic okay we have a wheel and the surface that is slightly too thin as well not the surface but the flap that's slightly too thin that's a better 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 much better okay now we need to pull this in a bit because this is too wide and that's going to be a challenge so let me grab a clipping plane Yeah, I'm definitely finishing up after after I've done with the wheel. I'm dying here. Okay, this will need to move in. Okay, so now we 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 select <clears throat> this whole thing here, right? Together with this, nope, 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 not that. God damn it, this, 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 this. Yes, this, this, yes. 
this this yes this that this does this get moved yes it does so all of this gets moved will get moved uh that then that 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 i really don't want to accidentally select stuff that um that shouldn't be moved because then i'll need to do the selection again and we don't want that um bam and you sir actually shit i selected too much uh but can we unselect it yes we can okay so this is not getting moved okay all of this is though and now we need to just kind of guess so our wheel kind of ends here around this edge so i'm thinking of moving it kind of that far <laughs> i don't know uh is it possible to skip out show no objects are hidden oh my I, yeah the, the the clipping plane um is there a way of wait uh render tools drafting i think there was like new and sub the named selections okay so can i save the selection here perfect and then if i double click it yeah perfect okay so i can save my selections um and now let's move it away and then we see that we somehow managed to move the freaking wheel what the hell happened how did i select a wheel shit okay let us undo the movement uh delete the flipping plane okay so apparently i accidentally selected these parts without actually seeing them and also all of this huh cool let me oh no 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 okay let's try again bam 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 i just need to remove stuff from selection bam 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 bam, bam. come on slowly but surely patience patience is the key patience is the key Patience. Wireframe view. Perhaps this is gonna be easier. No, it's not. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, shade that view. <sighs> Just be patient. Just be patient. Oh my god. Why can't I unselect you? Oh, I can, okay. Oh, almost there, almost there, so close. I can, I can smell it, I can feel it. You are the last one, aren't you? Yes, okay, save selection, just in case, replace. Okay, that's good. Um, and now we move it in. Bam. Holding the tab. Something like this, right? I think that works. That's way too close though. But that's an easy fix as well. Okay, so that works. That works perfect. Um, then this needs to be moved slightly forward and we will be done. Yeah, it definitely needs to be moved forward like that. 
Okay. Are you still a closed? Yes. This is still a closed sub D, a single, single geometry, single piece of geometry. And we have a f back wheel now. Uh, which could be better, honestly. <laughs> but hey, this is my first time doing this, so. No judgy judgy. I am going to call it quits for today. <clears throat> Let me save this. So we still have some 17 lurkers here in, 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 in the chat who haven't haven't left. That's cool. That's cool. Hope you get inspired and do do something uh, something with somebody mess around with it uh, let's see can I look at it that's ray traced that's boring now that's arctic view it's kind of cool most of it seems to be okay here's a new one welcome <laughs> Um, seems to be fine. We have some panels going on, we have a wheel, we'll add more panels. Right now these are just horizontal divisions, so we will definitely be adding more, more panels here. We will be adding two more wheels on this side and this side, of course, for it to be able to stand, stand up. Um, and once we actually add uh, the texture, uh, you know, the, the, the proper texture uh, with, with all of the grime and metallics and, and whatnot, wear and tear, I think this is going to be a pretty cool, um, a pretty cool 3D model. So those of you who don't know, um, I will be giving like I will be 3D printing like five of these, maybe 10 of these. And uh, I'll do like a small giveaway uh, for either, not either, but both the Patreon supporters and also the members of, of the channel. So I'll be just kind of send, sending them out hand painted. Uh, should be pretty fun, but there's still a little bit of, of work to be done. Next up, I will be doing something like this. Uh, let me just do a really quick example of it. Uh, or not, I guess, uh, F10. There we go. Like this. And yeah, that's, it's not great. Something like that, that's better. Um, Bear with me. Rebuild. Uh, three points. Or rather, more, more. Uh, five points. Okay. Explode. Uh, sub D pipe. Or why? Why doesn't it have normal naming? Sub D multipipe, okay. Pipe radius, uh, let's say uh, five centimeters. Bam. No. And we will be kind of adding these uh, these these pipes, not not to this side, of course, but uh, the hydraulics are going to be kind of added here, and you know, just just to give it a little bit more cool looking things. Uh, and a little bit more detail before we actually kind of call it quits. So, two wheels are left, detailing 
on, on, on this side is left, detailing in the front, detailing in the panels. I would say top is done, I don't want to mess around with the top anymore. Bottom is whatever, almost done. Um, so we are kind of, we have still kind of two streams left to, to work with. But uh, right now, the way it is, uh, let me just give it a solid color. Let me give it an E-map um, with uh, some, uh, I, I really like fluorescent tube uh, analysis, right? For, for curvature. Everything seems to be super clean, super crisp. There are no no really big mistakes. There are some mistakes here and there, but not that many. And by just uh, using the the fluorescent tube e-map, we can we can see all of the curves much better and see if uh, any of the curves break in a weird way or mess up anywhere. And they don't seem to. But that's good. That seems to be a pretty clean transition. Here, yeah, remember where I said that uh, <laughs> maybe we will, maybe it will go away? No, it didn't go away. We'll need to fix that. But that's going to be done later. Other than that, I think that's, uh, this is turning out to be quite, quite nice. Quite nice. So we'll continue on tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow. Probably same time as today, later in the evening. Okay, I am off. I am done. Thank you for watching. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Okay, bye.